Hi everybody. Tonight is the second night of Hanukkah. I am here with my mom. Hi mom. Say hi. Happy Hanukkah. And we are going to be making the traditional food for Hanukkah, which is potato latkes. And the reason we eat them is because they're cooked in oil. Yes, we have a holiday that celebrates fried food. Uh, because ha uh, Hanukkah is celebrating a miracle that happened when they lit this candelabra and there was only supposed to be enough light for one day, but it miraculously lasted for eight days. So we celebrate those eight days uh, by having eight nights of Hanukkah and eating fried food. Okay, so, so my mom has done most of the prep work here. So we have four pounds of potatoes that we have peeled. Yellow or white, doesn't matter. Yellow or white, any kind of potato works, whatever is on sale. And how many pounds of onions do you think maybe, we're gonna use, Mom? Maybe two-ish. Like two pounds of onions. We're probably not gonna use all of these. If you're not going by the pound, if you, you can figure one small to medium onion for every two large potatoes. Okay, so like triple the potato, like one part potato, I mean one part onion, three part potatoes. And now we need to, cut them small. So you can use an old school grater. Do we have any graters as an example? Beep, beep, beep. I don't know. I don't know if we have any graters here. Like yes. one of these things. And actually it tastes better if you do that. To My be grandmother honest. says what is to make a real latke, your knuckles have to bleed into them a little bit. Yes, but we're lazy and we don't like to bleed. So we are using the food processor. So we're just putting it in here. This is a new food processor, so we're not sure how to use it. Let's yes. see if it works. This is all gonna be, all right, we're going to do it on, we're gonna pulse it to just chop. We want it coarsely chopped. Not, so, not like a paste. You wanna still have lots of little pieces. Some people do it on um, a shred. Oh. Some people Why do it on it? a puree. Shred it is better. Because in my family, I grew up, we do a coarse chop. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and I'm, I'm doing it with the onions. Okay, so you can see we have... First batch done. Now the top looks like it needs, it needs a little mix. Kind of supposed to look like hash browns. That's a good description. So, this is good. There's just some in here that haven't gotten. I think I just had too much in here. Oh, so. she put too much in. So we have to take some out. But the what, ones that didn't get cut up, I'm just going to take out. But we're just going to not all because we have like six pounds of potatoes, onions. They don't all fit in. So we're just going to have to do this in batches. So we're going to do this in batches and then come back for the next step. Okay, so we have pulsed all of our potatoes and onions, and now we need to add some ingredients to bind them together. So you could get out another bowl, but if you're like us and lazy and you don't want to dirty another bowl, you can just use the same bowl you were using. Okay, first we're going to season. First we're going to season. If we can get that off, now we can salt. Ugh. Okay. So we're going to put in maybe that much, which is probably a tablespoon, a tablespoon of garlic salt. You will learn that the, the lappies don't measure. We just guess. And salt. Lackeys need a good amount of yeah, salt. Yeah, very salt. So, so that's like, ooh, that's a lot. Probably two I'm tablespoons. I'm going to guess two tablespoons of salt and one tablespoon of garlic powder. And I'm going to get a fork so we can mix things. Mom's getting a fork. She lied, it's a spoon. Doesn't matter. So we're gonna mix that in. Then, you have to bind them a little. So, I like to throw in a little cornstarch to coat them, about that. I would say that's... It's not even a tablespoon. Mm, yes it is, Mom, trust me. That's a good tablespoon. It's, it's about a tablespoon and a half, trust me. And just coat it through. And that's going to make a everything... Lot of, most people don't use cornstarch, but I think it gives it a nice texture. No, I think that's the perfect thing to make it stick together and prevent Flappy, them from breaking. Flour. And it makes it a little crunchier. But, okay, so then, now that we have all that in, we are going to do eggs. So I'm going to put about... 
as long as you're, you don't have to wash your food processor. Make it life easy. It's all going in the same bowl. Why can't you just put it right in the lockable? Because I like them mixed first, otherwise. I'm a very lazy cook. If I was I doing it, I'd probably crack them right into the potatoes, but mom yeah. says to mix them first in I'm a, a, lazy cook a separate bowl. But it's better. Okay, so that's four eggs. I'm not done. Oh. It's gonna be at least six. At and least, then we'll see how wet it is. At least six, then we have to touch it. All good cooks always have to touch and taste their food. Right, Even in the time of COVID. <laughs> All right, now we find the top. Otherwise, it's really messy. Um, the oil's burning. Okay, so now we just... One, two, three. Try not to get it all over. Sorry, the oil's burning. Oh, I was like, I smell something. Yes, so over here, while this is going on, I have our oil heating up because just we- Just plain vegetable oil. Yeah, just plain vegetable oil because once this is made, we're gonna fry up these latkes, but we're not ready quite yet. Oh, we missed it. Mom poured the eggs I in. just poured the eggs in. She just poured the eggs in. And now I'm mixing it up. Now she's mixing it up. Now, this is too wet. Oops, I just saw a big chunk. It's a good time to check the big chunks. Doesn't matter. Okay, so now. Too wet. We should have only done five eggs. No, 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 no. Oh. Now. No, 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 Now no, we're going to add flour. No. We're going to add baking soda. Really? Take a little bit rise. A little bit of baking soda. Like that. Tablespoon of baking soda. You always put in baking soda? I've never done that. And some flour. Two tablespoons of flour. Okay, and now we're going to mix they go in pretty wet, but you just want them, they need enough to bind together. You want them to look a little silky. A little silky. These are nice and eggy, actually, they're good. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a little more flour. Okay, I'm gonna guess that she added a, a third of a cup of flour. And I'm gonna put in a and... bit more cornstarch. A little more cornstarch. A little more cornstarch. Well, I'll have to go back and uh, revi revisit our measurements so I can write them all down. Okay, that looks better to me. So, can you see that? I feel like it looks like oatmeal. They're moist, but they're not runny. Yeah. Okay, now when, oh, there's that lump. I'm gonna take that out. As you cook these, Yes. This pot is, is going to get wetter and wetter as the potatoes leak it up more. So I like to use a slotted spoon. Mm, that's a good idea to get rid of some excess so moisture. Let, let the moisture drain out before I put it. I'm looking for a slotted spoon. We need to find the a slotted pan. spoon. Um, here we go. Got two slotted spoons. So that's perfect. So we're going to use the slotted spoon to put it in the pan. Well, I just turned the fire off. No, 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 no. no. All right. All right. Now we got to so, turn that back on. Which. This is All right, here. we're gonna come back to you when we're ready to fry. Ready to fry, so mom is spooning it. Can you see in here? Yeah. You're gonna try and void this liquid. So I like a deep slotted spoon. I put some in and see, just push and out push the down extra to get the extra liquid out. Now, actually, I should have done this first. We're gonna take a little bit Test and make sure oil. we're sizzling. The oil is sizzling, so it means it's hot. And these are ready. Okay. So now I've got this pressed down a little to get the extra liquid. Big luck. We like them big. We like them big. That's how we keep our grill. And then fingers. you're just going to press it down a little. Yeah, that was too big. Okay, another scoop. That's quite so big. Squeeze a little bit out. I mean, you don't want it dry, but you just don't want it so drippy. Look, you can already see that browning up. Sweet. Delicious. We're going to just... Gently put it in, flatten it out a bit. It's margins. Right. Are you going to try to squeeze a third one in there? Oh, yeah. Well, I put it in the wrong one. That's fine. It's better just put it into the deeper one, get more liquid out. And How long does each side need, do we think? Um, just a minute or two. 
So you, the trick is to keep your oil hot enough that it's actually bubbling, but not so hot that it cooks so fast that it gets black without cooking the potatoes. So I'm actually gonna turn it that That is down. hard to do. I, I, you, have, you can't walk away from these. I always burn these. things when I'm frying things. You can't walk away from these. You have to stay here and oh, watch them. You should take out that little guy over there. Oh, this one's really hot, so you can see how it's just. But we're gonna turn this heat down because you don't want raw potatoes inside. No. Give a little press. See if the liquid come out. And, and the other thing I do is I constantly work from the top where and try and avoid where the liquid's pulling. Yeah, the driest part. Right. So in the end, there's going to be some liquid left in the pot, and that's There's going to be, and some potatoes, and you're just going to dump them. Okay. First batch is sizzling away. You need smell-o-vision. Smells very good. And you want to... Oh, now, don't we need a... Should I go get a pan with some paper towels to put them on? Yes, sure. Okay. Right, let me get a cookie sheet. These aren't ready, though. All right, I'm going to... Oh. Oh. Mom's preparing. We gotta have somewhere to put these. So we're gonna just get out a pan with some paper towels. To absorb the excess grease. Hmm. delicious. I'm gonna fish out this little right. sample. Well, it's burning. It's okay. It's flavor. It's burnt onions. I'm not with burnt onions. Hmm. All right. These actually may be cooking faster. Um, so you're just going to pick it up. Sorry, is it ready? One more second. Let's see what's colored over here. I think they need another minute. This one's not as hot. Yes. So this one can come up. Which one is this? This one can get more heat, and this one's good as it's. All right. And then after a minute, we're going to flip these puppies over so we can brown the other side. And okay. we're just going to keep... This one's going to flip. Ready? One, Ready. Fingers two, crossed. Three. Woo! It's a beaut. Okay. You need two things so it doesn't fall apart. One, two, three. Gorgeous. And one, two, three. That one's a little light, but that's okay. All right. So we are going to... Continue. continue to be slaves to the stove and fry up the rest and of these. And as your oil goes down, you have has. to yes, add you have some to... more and let it heat up before you put them in again. Yes, because you don't the... want them in cold. So all of our latkes are frying and we are going to come back when they are done and ready to eat. So our latkes are done. Uh, you can see I have my menorah next to me. It's the second night. So we have two candles and the one in the middle is the one we use to light the other two. And it is time to eat our laka. And the traditional accoutrements are sour cream and applesauce. So you get this sweet and salty. Delicious. Happy Hanukkah.